everybody. Lovely sunny day, locked in as usual, so I thought I'd uh, do something for a bit different. I'm going to start casting those um, cliffs, so I'm actually going to do it outside. Hopefully I make less mess than I do in the train room. Right, and I've done some already. I've got this woodland scenic mould which I've tried. The only thing is, they're all going to be identical, so I want a bit different. So what I have been doing on YouTube is, I've seen that people have been making their own moulds out of silver paper. And I've done a couple here. Oh, if we go the right way. Which is quite effective. The plaster I'm using is Herculite, it's kind of like plaster of Paris. I brought a big bag off eBay, oh, must be a couple of years ago now. It cost me about 25 quid. So I'm going to mix some plaster up and I'll uh, show you what I'm up to. Right, um, you mix this plaster about 50-50 water, but you just get it to literally a good consistency. First thing you do is spray your moulds. This stops from sticking really. <laughs> That's just got a bit of uh, washing up the water and washing up liquid. Like I say, you just want to get to a nice creamy consistency. Probably a touch more water in that so it runs a bit better. Oh, everything's going to blow away. Things you've got to crack on with this because it does start to go off quite quick. You can probably see that consistency now. Where do I put the spoon? And it's just a matter of pouring a bit in each one. With it being a rock face, it doesn't have to be so level like when I did the other walls. Probably a bit too thick now. Right, that's it, simple as that. So now we'll just leave it, it takes about half an hour. It's about an hour later now, so I thought we'd I'd come out and see how they've turned out. I, mean, I haven't got a clue about this boy one, you never know what you're going to get. I think the missus will be surprised next time she goes for some foil for cooking. There we go, I think that's come out quite well. Oh, I don't know if this one's set properly yet. Better leave that one. These are the wooden scenic moulds. If they do break, which have just broken that one, you need the little bits running alongside the river, so 
I'm probably being a bit rough with this actually. So we can be a bit more gentle. Probably not. There we go. Oh. But that should give me a start on one side. I'll come back and try this last one. Right, back again, it's half an hour later. This is the last one. I'm going to get absolute rollicking off the missus. So there we go, so I, hopefully I've got enough to do one side now, so we'll take these up to the train room and have a look. Right, I've made, I've made a few more, so um, I'm now going to try and like, form the clips. So um, I'll start sticking some down and then I'll uh, let you have a look, see what you think. Well, I've started on this side, I'm just trying to get it to uh, form. I'm going to have to use quite a bit of filler, I think. But I'm just going along with these bits here to start off with. just so I can make it look like a continuous clip so it's just a bit like making a jigsaw puzzle where you haven't got a clue where anything's going well I everything keeps sliding down the hill so I've jammed everything up so I'm going to leave that to sack now before I try and... Because as I'm adding bits, other bits are moving and sliding. So we'll let that set and um, see what it looks like when it's dry. Right, I've glued all the big chunks in. I've just put the river back in just to see um, how it looks. Next job is to get some like decorated chalk and fill all the gaps and hopefully have a go at painting it we get but you probably get a better view from lower down as you see there's quite a few gaps At the river's edge, I'm going to um, finally lay, put the bridges back in and then I'll um, put some more plastering down the bottom to, and some rocks. But I think you'll agree it's getting there. So that's all the joints build. Um, I can't really do a lot more to fit the river, but before I fit the river, I need to paint it. So I've got to let the, all this filler dry now, and then we'll see what it looks like. 
All right then, now we come to the painting. First thing, I'm just going to soak all the plaster in water so it doesn't absorb too much of the paint. Just let that soak in and we'll uh, have a go with the very light wash. Okay. I'm going to put a kind of like a grey wash on it first. I'll mix that up anyway. It's an extra watery wash, just a, just a bit of black and white. Just so it's very watery, so we'll just give it a quick covering. Add a bit of water just to wash it down a bit more. As you see, the water runs down through, makes it a lot more visual. Right, I'll continue on doing this in the. Um, you get the idea with the wash and then we'll see how that turns out right so that's a grey wash I'm just going to dab about now with a few more different coloured washes over the top while it's still a bit wet Got a bit of black this time. It hopefully, we'll just run down into the cracks a little. Right, then we'll try a bit of brown. Right, I've done the brown. Um, seems it's drying very quickly. They've been very warm up in this loft. It just seems to be drying a bit quicker than I want it to. But it seems to be getting there. I just think it's a matter of just keep applying. There we go, that sounded a grey, a black, then a burnt umber and I've also done this side now I did make a cock up as you can really see I shouldn't have used decorated chalk, I should have just used filler because this paint just isn't absorbing I didn't realise it was flexible so I've got to kind of like go over with this normal filler here and here you can see the patches before it will absorb any paint so a bit of a cock up there, but otherwise 
I think the effect is pretty good. Right, I've come up with another idea. I'm not too happy with this girder bridge because I do think it takes away the lines of this bridge. If I can get it in, well I can't, but I can. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I've got a stone support in the middle. I'm going to chop the uh, the girders off the top and just have it as a flat bridge. But, and I'm going to add some, um, so it looks like it's a steel bridge, supported in the middle. I just think it, the lines will look a lot better than for the other bridge. But we'll see what that looks like. Well, I really butchered that bridge. Uh, no looking back now, as I say. So let's see what I can come up with. Make it look a bit better. Right, I've changed the bow bridge into a kind of like a girder bridge. Now I've used some just some girder kits to do the sides. But we'll see what that looks like when everything's back together. I just thought that the bow was taking off the curvature of the cast bridge, so we'll see what that looks like when all three are back up. Right, so there's the butchered bridge fitted. Um, I've had to put a statue now because obviously it'd be too long. But I think it, uh, you'll agree it. it I haven't lost the lines of the cast bridge then so much. And uh, I've finished the clips. I might give them a bit of a gloss varnish. Because rocks normally are a bit shiny. They look, just look a bit dull at the moment. So what I've got to do now is um, fit the river back in and the back scene and then I can start doing the edging down here at the side of the river. Well I think that will do um, for the moment. I've got a static grass machine coming so I'm going to uh, wait for that to come before I start putting any vegetation on it. Obviously I've still got to do along the edges of the river as well, I'm going to put a load of rocks down there. Um, you can't really see the bridge anymore. I'll try and get it to a different angle. There we go, you can see it now. I just thought it takes, I mean, there's more emphasis then on the uh, cast bridge. I'll try to do the um, the centre pillar is kind of like engine, blue engineering bricks. But I think she's coming together. She's getting there. Slow but gradual. I need to weather this bridge at the front as well. Well, I need to weather everything. So there you go. I'll say thanks for watching. Hopefully it's not too long, and uh, if you haven't done, please subscribe and, and comment, and um, I'll speak to you soon. Alright, bye for now.